So this is Josh. Right. Josh Wakey of uh, Red Door Homes fame. Mm -hmm. Son of the founder. Imagine that. that. Working, oh, <laughs> that's nice. And he's here doing work experience, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. How was your first day? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. We got a video done. We did? Yeah, we did. It's um, out, it's released. We started a new one. Yeah. It's going well. well. You should watch a video. Yeah, I'll link it actually below, because this will go in the vlog. So below you can watch Josh's World Cup Roundup. Yeah. Some really kind of Nostradamus-esque predictions in there. And some really. bad commentary and word pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, every now and then, you know, we all fluff, yeah, we all, we all luff our flines now and then. Comedy goal. Very good. So for now, that's it. But we'll do some more on Thursday. Thursday. Because you're off tomorrow, I'm off Wednesday. So we'll meet again on Thursday. Back Thursday. Say bye, Josh. Goodbye. So. Order out my vlog, 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 whatever. Please. No, I don't want to be in it. I'm really stressed this week. I'm tired. Oh, come on. I haven't got the energy. What if I'm I... busy, I've got grind a minute. What if I gave you a little cuddle? Would that help? No? <laughs> my, f my fingers smell of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> beep. Beep. Fine, beep. all right, fine, fine, fine. I'll go and see someone else, someone who appreciates a little bit of cinematography. What are you going to vlog about? Mm. No, not there. Andy's trip to Turkey. What when Lucy's not there? What do you mean when she goes on her walk, like she does every afternoon? Do you mean like that? Yeah, like when she goes on her really long walk. <laughs> no, I'm not sending her to heaven. Oh. What are you sending her? To Coventry. To the end of People the year. People get sent to Coventry, don't they? To the ends of the earth. Yeah. I know you don't want to be in it, but can you just wave? Just one wave for all your fans. I don't Come on. have any fans. Give them what they want. You do have fans. No. Come on, give them what Lucy's they want. Lucy's my only fan. Don't wave to Lucy. No. She's upset me. Spoil sport. <laughs> Are you lurking? I was thinking if you're making a cup of tea, I'd really love a cup of tea. I'll make you a cup of tea. Why are you filming me? Vlog. Oh, all right. Hello, everyone. What are we talking about today? Whatever's on your mind. I've done a lot of numbers today, and you know, I don't think I'm too bad at numbers, but Andy will tell you I'm rubbish at numbers. Hmm. But I've had to so add bounce. up all of Mark's receipts and put them all on a spreadsheet, and well, basically, I feel like a data inputter. I know. Do you need a hug? Changing. No, I'm okay. We had a manager's <laughs> meeting this morning. So that was productive. Yeah. Because there's only three people that ever go to a manager's meeting. Just four. Four people, sorry. Take us through. How many people work here? Eight. Eleven. Oh. <laughs> You're not Half with numbers, managers. are you, either? <laughs> No, but I mean in this office. Mark doesn't work in the office, does he? So you want to know what the etiquette is? <laughs> no, well, I just want to know what goes on. I'm intrigued by the management meeting. So we recap from the previous week Ooh, to see recap. like results, see who's done what. Yeah. Look at figures basically in an analytical way. Yeah. Big word. Um, then we'll discuss any ideas we've got, any concerns we've got. Yeah. Well, that's basically it. Doesn't sound like that much, but obviously, you know, there's quite a lot. You think you've got property no, management it. stuff to go through, sales stuff, letting stuff. I used to work in finance, and I used to have to attend the monthly, you know, revenue meetings. Mm. <sighs> yeah. They're lengthy. I, I wouldn't say it's boring. We're more like, okay, so how many houses have we sold this week? You know, what properties are being refurbished, what works we've yeah, got going on, fine. you know, what we need yeah. to follow up. Catching up. Yeah, catching up and then any staff in his shoes. Has Jack been good this week? Does he need reprimanding? Does, does he deserve a treat? Does or? he deserve a treat? Yeah, we discussed the company night out. Oh yeah, company night out. Yes. So I don't know whether or not there's going to be any kind of filming of it, but we're going to a panic room. Is that what it's called? Isn't it? Surely we should stay cool, calm and collected in this situation. 
Oh yeah, since it isn't actually really... We're doing like a police one or something, aren't we? Like a murder. Oh, that was a mafia thing. Oh, was it? I think it's called the Don. The oh, right. Doing. I reckon I'll be really good at it. You fancy yourself, don't you, as a bit of a kind of CSI, as you think, yeah. a bit of an agent. Yeah, I reckon I should have always been in the police. I'm really nosy and I'm really good at solving crimes. Boom. Have you ever solved a crime? Yeah, because I watch a lot of TV and you know when you have like what? a series on, I always know who's done it. That's the fiction though, isn't it? I'm asking yeah, you. It's based, on, it's based you... on reality, isn't it? No, it's the writer they that do a wrote lot the of story. No, they do a lot of research for programs like that. You think yeah, of Vera, I always research. know who's done it. Yeah, but hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just get to the meat and bones of this. Have you ever solved a real crime in real life? Probably. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. It's a yes or no situation. Everyone knows whether or not they've actually solved a crime. Well, I'm sure I have because, I, you know, think of the amount of properties you've had broken into and... So you've assisted the police in their inquiries, but that's not the same thing. No, but I probably knew who it was. I could look at his footprints, realise that it's a ever, size 10 Adidas and the bloke at number 34 was wearing a size 10 Adidas have yesterday. Have you ever solved a crime? I think I probably have really helped out in <laughs> solving a crime. So all we actually know for sure is that the two credentials you think are required to be a police <laughs> woman are to be nosy no. and good at solving crime. No, and, and evidence, have your evidence, your nosy. Your Honour, I've watched Suits, I've watched like 12, <laughs> 12, um, so why do you want to work in the police suits. force? Well, I've watched Suits. I've watched Suits, I've watched set. Vera, I've watched DCI Banks, I've watched The Bill. Yeah, Jane's got a degree in criminal whatever it is forensics i know but she's wasted she's like talent wasted she never wants to like you know try these things out whereas i i'm just saying she's got those as credentials you've I've got watched a photographic several memory. box sets on netflix that are crime-based fiction mm -hmm. i'm not saying that you're not bad everybody's at it. paper i'm just saying they're not the reason is that what it's called i don't know i'm not academic either but i don't think what i mean is i think you would be good but you're just giving terrible reasons why you'd be good. I think I'll be able to get in there and I'll be in the top, no problem, solving crimes, changing lives, saving lives. I'd love to see your interview for the police force. I'll be in there like... Yeah, I wouldn't pass the fitness test, that's the only thing. I don't really want to do like Bobby on the beat for two years, nicking people for spitting on the street and speeding fines. That's not really me. Okay. A more hard crime. So you want to go straight cold. to the top? Yeah, but, I mean, just like a detective would be all right. So they'll be like, we've got, we've found 15 bodies. Oh, I watched 24 hours in police custody. I watched it this morning. All right, why don't you say? Bingo, you've got the job. <laughs> <laughs> I like these chats, Kaz. Yeah, I always find them quite helpful. <laughs> I wouldn't say kicked off, no. Gonna do a little bit of vlogging. It's going to be really awkward for Andy because I'm going to have the camera there quite a lot of the time. A lucky son. Because oh. we have Josh. Josh is in the <laughs> car again today. I'm back. No, no yeah, I've I I I decided whether to call you a media assistant or a lackey. A lackey. As a joke, but work experience extraordinaire. Yeah. Lazy shyster. That's not going in the vlog. <laughs> Lazy. So, see, I've watched it. Whenever you said that, it normally goes in the vlog. I have to say, True. Jack, it, Andy, it's going to be awkward, now. especially I'm with the taxi that's now pulled up behind me. This lorry is just too long. The thing is, he was already kind of committed. Yeah. You just thought, yeah, well, I'm going to go in. Well, he was. It's my but the right taxi away. behind has caused the problem. <laughs> it's never you causing the problem. No. <laughs> How can I cause a problem? <laughs> Look, taxi he's got behind, the white, right? he's got behind. The white Range Rover license. On a 10 foot. I can go do what I want. Oh, there's another Range Rover down there, it's just decided to block the entire road. Yeah, no, right. This is well awkward. Imagine that. How am I your side, Jack? You reckon? Uh, my side. I gave you a nod, so. Yeah, yeah I think, I think you're okay. So, <laughs> yesterday, Jack. Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, just a car so. Yeah, so, they've got a castle here. Wow. Yeah. So no, we were out yesterday, so we were out with a client, we were looking at lots of houses and everything else, and then uh, we were out for lunch with the client. I said, oh, come on, Josh, come for lunch. He goes, no, I need to get back to do some work. I said, yeah, Josh. Boom. I said, see. Josh, you'll be fine, don't pack. Oh, wait, that way, or this way? This way, I think. Uh, no, it was that way. Was that way? I forgot where we were going for a second. Yeah. I said, no, don't worry, you'll be fine. He goes, no, no, if I haven't got all this done, Jack will be telling me off and I'll be in trouble. I said, 
bloody hell mate, this is very, very responsible. You're about to have a free lunch. You're out with me and a client and uh, yeah, he was very keen to get back and get everything done so he didn't he didn't let you down and fail you, Jack. So well, I then I went for lunch anyway. Oh yeah, and then he actually came for lunch. <laughs> so although he said the right stuff. I got all the work done though. He still so can't believe he got the work done. And, and, had, the work done. and so had a monster um, cut of sandwich. Done. Which is really good, courtesy of Tiny Tim's, which is very good. My only thing would be if you're ordering a club sandwich, it's probably enough for two people and at a good price, £6.95. It comes huge, this big. Hot tip. And um, you get chips and stuff. And chips. And nobody ate the chips because it was too much food. However, had it been between Ooh. two people, club sandwich and chips would have been sufficient. I might get my um, rear end down to Tiny Tim's today. Yeah, this it's is very a vlog, good. not a uh, review. No, it's not a review, it's not an advertisement at all. It was, it's genuine. This is not a paid endorsement. But all of these reviews are places that we go and places that we use on the high street. So I used it yesterday, it was very good. Service was really good. Um, yeah. Okay. And lovely. it's outside, it's lovely. And Jack lovely. and Josh managed lovely. to get a really good view. So where he was sitting, view up at the castle, filming yeah. it for I've our website those, headers. Yeah. It was a, a lovely spot to spend the day. Perfect. So Josh, how is day three work experience? Are you loving it, loving it, loving it, loving I, um, it like that? I'm editing a refurb at the moment. Ooh. But I have to say it, Dad. Gotta right? love a refurb. Mm. Oh, he's having fun in my But yeah, is it's he going well, I think. It's, it's good. Bit, it's a bit daunting every time I look at Josh, he's just got pictures of me all over his screen. <laughs> it smells like a kind of homage. Well, that's... Uh, I'm nice. creating a birthday present for next year, then. Because you love yourself. <laughs> No. So what do you think Josh, is this the kind of work that you might be looking to get into? Something creative, really something v media, yeah, visual? Yeah, a lot of fun with it, a lot of fun with the editing as well. Oh good, that's good. So, yeah. That's good. It's going well. So, that's lovely. There's Billy Childish's car. Yeah. you got to love an orange Saab. You don't see many orange cars and you don't see many Saabs. So he's really kind and you of... you don't see many Billy Childish. That is niche. Yeah, that's true. He's, he's very Childish. He's a very unique individual. A really local nice. artist. Oh. Yeah, really nice guy. Um, very interesting. If you manage to get um, the opportunity to sit and have a coffee and a chat with him, yeah, I highly it. recommend it. Really good guy. Lovely family. They also own uh, the seaplane works, much as on High Street. Are you trying to sell Billy Childish? To Everything you say, Dad, always sounds like an ad. It sounds like a sales pitch. Yeah, yeah. you do. Oh. It's like your, it's your default. Yeah, it's a different tone your to your default voice. setting. Sorry. <laughs> I think we killed it, Josh. <laughs> We've ruined it. <laughs> we finally shut him up. We've done it impossible. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, let's get some B-roll.